statement which was delivered to us on 15th November in this August house. I'm happy to be here this morning because of the message our colleague brothers have just given to us. What, what Honorable Yusuf and Honorable Nto have just spewed out reminds me of books that we read in secondary school. And there is one with a character called Mr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And why am I saying that? Because this very morning, Honorable Yusuf was singing the praise of this budget before a delegation from Germany. Just this morning, that was between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Yes, you are singing the praise of this budget because I remember, hold there on. was a lot of meat. Hold there on, was a lot of food. Mic. Okay. Switch off your mic. Okay. Yes, I love you. The speaker, I'm grateful. My chairman is misinforming this house. He's misinforming this house by saying that this morning I was seeing praise singing the budget. I don't get it. Can you provide any evidence to this? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The evidence is his colleagues from the other side who were there at the meeting, but that is of no significance. Let me go ahead. In fact, all governments since Fourth Republic has been saying that they want to take Ghana to the next level. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our government since Fourth Republic has been saying that they want to take Ghana to the next level. But none of them, probably with the exception of President Kufuor's government, who started all the good works, but because of certain problems, we will not be able to give in the light of day to see to its final conclusion. Now, President Kufuor's government has come, and he has given us the direction. The direction is 10-point agenda, with which we are going to industrialize Ghana and make sure that Ghana takes its place in the Committee of Nations. The first one is we need to actually take our petrochemical industry serious with the finding of oil and gas, which our friends from the other side did not allow us actually to craft good laws which will have given us the opportunity to actually benefit wholly from the resource. And now it's like our oil and gas business is hanging in the atmosphere. We are saying that we are going to make sure that we will take our oil and gas business serious and with that, through that we are going to develop our fertilizers, we are going to get our vitamin to actually what, I mean, do our roast so that every village which is in Ghana is going to at least have more trouble roads to run on them. We have the next anchor is oil palm business. I think it is in the budget that we are going to make sure that oil palm industry, when we compare ourselves with Malaysia, that they came here for the first uh, palm kernels, and now they've been able to develop uh, palm kernel to the point that they can even get fuel from it to run their cars. We believe that with seriousness, 
with the leader who is championing the industry and then trade ministry. That is Alan Kojo Chermatin. We are going to make sure that this country is fully industrialized by using the raw materials which are in abundance in this country. Well, you, you did well. You started with NS chemists and few of them, Tobinko. I know that you were able to prop the pharmaceutical industry to a certain point. But I want to assure you that with the growth goals that we've actually set up, pharmaceutical business in Ghana is going to leap to the highest level that anybody can think of. Yeah. Yes. What we want to tell the nation is that Ghana cannot develop by leaving our SME businesses, I mean, behind. So this government has clear-cut policy. And I believe my colleagues in Trade and Industry uh, Committee, you are aware of the nice and then efficient programs which have been set up. What is left with money for its exclusion? And that is why the finance minister has promised us that he's going to mobilize one billion United States dollars and then we will leverage this money in our various SME businesses. And that will give our teaming youth who are unemployed, I mean, the necessary job opportunities for them to actually get something to do when they leave their colleges of uh, education and then learning. Um, I heard uh, Honorable Into was commenting on uh, the fact that Ghanaian economy is on its knees because when it came to rankings, we were at uh, 114. If they forgotten, the last time they ranked, we were at the position of 120. We've been able to bring it, at least with all the challenges that we have, we've managed to reduce it by four points, six points. So now we are at 114. So I don't know where their problem is. Yes, I don't, I don't know what where their problem is because the hole that they left behind, the, the hole that they left behind, if we've been able to cover the hole, and for that matter, we've been able to, I mean, put Ghana six basis points ahead, then you should know that come 2019 and 2020, when we have everything in place, when this budget has been actually executed. Only God knows where we will be. We want, yes, we want to tell them that, tell them, tell yes, them. we want to tell them that they themselves know they are baffled as to how we did it because they knew that when we were coming we were not going to survive. And the deficit that they left us, the fact that they messed up, they made sure that most industries which were left behind were, have collapsed and that we've managed to actually crop all these industries to this status. In fact, they are baffled, and they don't even know whether we can move ahead. But this is a challenge to us. We want to assure you that come 2019, when we are reading the next budget, because you know that we took industry from negative 2.6, I mean, growth rate to, that was 2014, to 7.5. From negatives, I'm not quoting from any, you can check there it for, you, for yourself. So we want to tell yeah, you yeah. To that this budget is the best thing that can ever happen to Ghana. Yeah, I will make yeah. sure that we are going to make sure that it's properly executed. And if we do it with the commitment with which we run our party, if we do it with the commitment which we run our hopes, we believe that Ghana is going to be a place I mean, to visit. We were here this morning. We have a delegation from German parliament. Those are friends from the other side. If they will tell the truth, you can, they, they can look to heaven and tell the truth. They were singing praises of Ghana. They said that Ghana is a place to be. They are, from here, they are going to Nigeria. And they are really impressed. If there is anybody who can actually say that what I'm saying is not true, then that is it. 
Where did they get the figures with which they are singing our praises? Now we are in the global village. People can Google. They Google and they saw that when we were coming into government, the growth rate was 3.8 percent. The deficit, and now we've been able to make it 8.5, and we project yeah, that yeah. with even uh, with few hitches that we've had as far as the financial sector, which was created by you, because you sat down for banks to operate without license, you sat down for men's gold to run without proper documentation. Because of that, we jump in. We want to streamline things, and I believe that when we are able to do these things, we will make sure that we leverage the system. And before we leave, uh, before we cast the net vote, that is 2020, we will be registering double-digit uh, growth rate. You can check all these things, and I believe. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So you can check.